Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to DuckTales Remastered. So, on the last episode, we visited the haunted castle of Transylvania and got our first health upgrade. Thank goodness. Today, we will be going to get the other health upgrade. Now, originally, I was planning on doing the Amazon next because I planned on having five hearts at this point. I don't have five hearts, so I am actually going to the Himalayas, which, despite being pretty difficult, that's where the other health upgrade is lying. But, on the plus side, it does have unbelievably awesome music, so that'll be cool. Pack my park at Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost clone of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Willie, darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. That's true. Launch pad's kind of an idiot. But he means very well, so I like him. Off to the Himalayas! And apparently we're going up against the Mighty Ducks, apparently. <laughs> Or at least hockey player ducks. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McTee, but I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne and step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll nay have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy. Oops. Oh, bother. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay, you're the boss. Oh, bother. Someone tagged along. But that music. The Himalayas has possibly my favorite song in the game, or second favorite. Now, the gimmick for this stage, if you pogo on the snow, you get stuck. So, you only want to pogo stick on enemies in this level. So, you got these little snow bunnies. Oh, wow. Treasure. <laughs> You've also got these billy goats. The billy goats are a bit easier to deal with. So, because of the pogoing gimmick, uh, this might be one of the tougher stages. But doggone it, that music is so good. Like, most people are like, the moon theme is the best by far. I'm like, no, the moon is not even in my top three favorite themes in this game. It's still amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's not the best. Ouch. What a beautiful remix. Absolutely gorgeous. Ouch. Those Billy Goats can sneak up on you, but they're not too bad. <laughs> yes, it is, Scrooge. Oh, one up. Nice. Take that, you rabbit. <laughs> cool. Jackpot. There it is. Here now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! How oh, horribly you can it. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast.
Oh well. <laughs> the longer we spend listening to this music, the happier I am. Woohoo! Oh, this is beautiful. And there's a hidden wall through here. And unless I'm mistaken... Health upgrade! That's the last one we get in the game. <laughs> and that's why I did this one. Plus, this level makes a good deal of sense plot-wise to do next. Ouch. These spiders can be a huge pain, though. But fortunately, because it's ice, although we have ice physics, we can still pogo on it. Lucky players are not allowed. Don't jump into the icicles, Ivor. They are as sharp as they look. Woo! All right, first piece. Morning and glory! <laughs> Now to find the other two pieces. I thought there'd be a shortcut. Though it doesn't appear to do anything. I was trying to hit the spider with that. That's not good. Bobber. Yeah, the spiders make this stage quite a bit di more difficult than you'd expect. Like, forget the snow gimmick. I think the spiders are far more annoying. But admittedly, the ice physics on this level don't bother me all that much. That's the mark of a good ice stage. Woohoo! It's amazing how many diamonds are just lying out in this snowy uh, wasteland. That was too close. Number one by backing down. Onward and upward. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, darn it. Actually, I can still get up on that platform. I just need to time this jump on the bunny correctly. This is one of the songs where even the NES version, like, is incredibly good. Aw, oh, darn it. Take that thumper. Beagle Boy's doing in the Himalayas. Come on. And now we can make a nice little shortcut back to the launch pad. Will wonders never cease? Launch pad, that crate looks almost airworthy. Don't crack up, but you can't fix up. I always say. Any luck finding that fuel regulator? Ugh, no. Some wee beasties ran off with it in pieces. They've got to be down there somewhere. All right, but I'm gonna need it before I can finish any more repairs. Is there not something else to keep you busy while you wait? Nope. Good. Enjoy the downtime, then. Gee, thanks, boss. Because I'm docking your pay till I get back. Gee, thanks. 
I would not like to work for Scrooge, to be perfectly honest, but he's funny. Also, good on a launch pad for being able to fix what he broke. He seems pretty smart at times, and also incredibly dumb at others. Now, I can't remember at the beginning if I went down immediately or went all the way to the right before going down. I went all the way to the right. Just want to make sure none of these guys have the fuel regulator. Nope. Okay. You will have to do some backtracking on this level. For example, now we have to go down. Look at that gorgeous background. That is incredible. Even the little details like the snow falling are amazing. Now, it makes sense for ice cream to be around here because look at all the ice. Ouch, that was almost disastrous. One up! Holy joy! Rapture! It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find, and we can get out of this overgrown ice box. Oh, forgot about those. Yeah. Giant ice calls you want to wait in front of them. One building one. One building two. I think that just leads up to the next level that I already passed. Yep. Oh, that's right. Got me kilts. It's Bubba Duck. Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. What the heck is Bubba Duck doing here? I don't know who Bubba Duck is, but we gotta save him. There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scoot Saint Baba! Scoot Saint Baba! Scoot Saint Baba! Baba help Scrooge! Baba help Scrooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant icebox. What do you say, Baba? Ooga, ooga! In that case, follow me, lad! This guy appears to be the Bam Bam of DuckTales. So yeah, he'll smash the stuff that's in our path. Waka, waka, it's a treasure. Some of the treasure, though, we need to make sure we grab before he gets a chance to smash the stuff in our path. Because we cannot smash this stuff ourselves. Yeah, like that, we need to get before he smashes all the ice in the way. Get down here. Okay, smash that, please. Oh wow, he can kill the enemies for you. Yippee! I've never seen a ruby like that before. <laughs> this is the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye, launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. I have no idea how Bubba got here, but I will not question it, because he helped me out tremendously. <sighs> yeah, I like hiding the gems near the screen transitions on this level. I don't know who did the music for this game, but you did an amazing job. Oh, look at the ducks! The last one! Now, to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. All right. Not quite yet, because there's still money to be had.
Alright. Just gotta go back to launch pad, no problem. I feel like Mrs. Beakley is not showing up on these levels. Maybe she doesn't show up on the levels where you get the health upgrades in hard mode. Oh, and there's Bubba. Here you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this uh, ought to do it. Now there's your problem. Webagale, what in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown of the Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. But I can help Uncle Scrooge. You don't like the voice, are you? You don't think I'm just a worthless tag-along, do you? We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Stop in tight, Webby dear. Apparently Bubba's the only responsible one besides Off Scrooge. We go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launchpad, knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz, I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety-split. More like lickety-splat. Glomgold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot? Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat. Only you could sink so low. And at 15,000 feet, no less. <laughs> Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pad. So this is Flintheart Glomgold. He is Scrooge's arch nemesis and the second richest duck in the world. He's gonna throw bombs at us, we just need to throw them back at him. He also throws Beagle Boys on our uh, plane for some reason. But they're easy to deal with. He's trying to blow up a plane that has two young kids on it. That is... Whoa. I'm just... You reap what you sow, Glomgold. Oh, yeah, that's what happens when you your plane is blowing up. Ooga, ooga! And that ought to do it. <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me, McDuck! Take that, you big old meanie! We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. Shadow pass directly ahead. Take us down, launch pad. Slow and steady this time. <laughs> no problem, old Mr. McD. Yeah, we only have one fuel regulator. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> then what was it? <laughs> That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, snap. don't go. Dinna worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. Oh snap. Scared. Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Will he, though? Launch 
snap. Launch Peg gets no respect. There we go. I thought I saw the last of you and my dog on a stick let's play. Oh, gone it. He had to jump in the one place I looked at. <laughs> yeah, that was greedy. I admit it. Oh, another one up! Wow, they're handing those out like they're candy. Whoa! Time for the boss against the Yeti. Make sure you jump every time he lands. And you can just run underneath him when he jumps. Dodge the ice that falls. Dog on it. I waited too hard. Okay, I guess you only have to jump when he lands if he does like a giant jump. Alright, let's try this again. Never mind, we won't try this again. This fight's pretty intimidating at first, but it's not too bad. There we go. Now jump on the head. Yeah, if he just jumps straight in the air, you, you're going to want to jump at on when he lands. Thankfully, the Yeti doesn't have a whole lot of HP, especially compared to Magicka Dispel. Alright, we're gonna wait for him to jump this time before hitting the golf club shot, otherwise we might miss. And this time, now we only have the middle ice platform. So we, we need to be smart with our golf shots. Whoop! Hit. Alright, I think only one HP is left. I must say, the boss, just the animations of this game are so good. Very fluid and natural looking. There we go. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. Oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. Everything's in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook, apparently. What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn. I can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't, you boys. <laughs> Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. That was not in her foot crown. during the battle. <laughs> you found it! Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> I think she likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Hell, yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, <laughs> uh, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. Oh yeah, stage clear! And who wouldn't want Launchpad? He is pretty buff for a... Duck? Gander? What is Launchpad? Post in the comments! <laughs> oh.
All right, Himalayas are complete. I don't think we made quite as much money on that stage as we would on the other ones, but no big deal. And we get a million for the crown, and we get 353,000 for playing on hard mode. Nice. The lost crown of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why does no answer Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No? Bubba Smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webby Gale. Set a good example for the lad. <laughs> well then, what treasure shall we look for next? Alright, that was a fun episode, and I am so, so happy that I got to play it. Thank you very much for watching, I'm Color Forty. until next time, we will be heading finally to the Amazon jungle. Now that we've got two health upgrades, it should be pretty doable. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless.